Sandland, the land of sand. Hello and welcome, Chris, back with another fragrance review. And this time, um, I'm looking at one of my um, initially favorite designers that when I started to use fragrances back in 1990, I was uh, standing in front of a shopping window and uh, I was looking at fragrances, which one should be the fragrance of my choice? And there were two. Um, there was uh, Ade from Alain Delon and Paco Rabanne pour Homme. And I adore, I always loved uh, Alain Delon. And Paco Rabanne came to my attention because of the football player, uh, Diego Maradona. I had, a, I had a book that said uh, somewhere in the book uh, that his favorite fragrance is, or favorite fragrance brand is uh, Paco Rabanne. Fragrance brand from uh, favorite fragrance brand from this football player Diego Maradona, who I uh, loved to bits, I still do. Um, so I was thinking which one to get, and I got Alain Delon. Um, but obviously Paco Rabanne stuck in my mind, and I got it later. I got several Paco Rabans, and now I want to present you my top three, my top three favorite of this particular house. And the good thing is that I'm trying to cover multiple decades again. I'm trying to be, you know, open-minded and versatile and all that. So uh, we have stuff here from the 70s, the 80s, and even the new millennium. So let's start on, on spot number three. And this was the fragrance I was eyeballing at the time in that particular show win shop window. Uh, and it's called Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. Now, obviously this one is the Puig version. Uh, and look at the bottle. Oh, I ain't, yeah, let's stop here for a minute, okay? Look at this bottle. For me, looking at this bottle uh, in my bathroom is just a, 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 a satisfactory vision. It's just something that I like to, I love to look at. I love to take this bottle in my hand. No cap, no strange cap to, to put on and pull off. And a great sprayer, fantastic fragrance, great color of the bottle. Uh, even you know this new version. Um, I actually love. I actually really love the new version uh, or the reformulated version. This is up obviously updated since uh, it has been released. This has been released in 1990, sorry, 1973, 1973, and it's, it, at the time it was released in 73. It was really the benchmark of of the aromatic green soapy fougere fragrance, right? This was a new. Uh, milestone in, in, in male fragrance history and rightly so um, this has this lovely touch of green soapy freshness paired up with this honey sweetness um, and I'm saying that I like the current version more than the older one because somehow um, it seems to be more customer friendly the old one um, after a while it turned a bit um, too sweet or too cloying, too too much, or maybe maybe I was too young at the time to use it. Uh, I first bought this somewhere in the nineties, and when I was in my twenties, and and it was uh, I liked it, but it was too much. Uh, now obviously they've touched, they've adjusted this a little bit to the current market, uh, keeping the backbone still the same, especially in the dry down. The beginning is less aggressive. The dry down is almost the same as it was before. Um, so I truly love this because I really love green, fresh uh, fragrances, um, the mossiness uh, and even the honey. I love honey and the fact that it's being amped down here with this one is, is, really, is really well done in my opinion. I don't cry that I don't have the uh, vintage one on this one. And the other thing I want, to, I want to say is that this is my favorite bottle ever. I love this. The, the best, the most, the color, the presentation, the sprayer, the everything is just to me top notch. I cannot imagine a fragrance presentation that is better than this. Um, I don't like a gold bar. I don't like a uh, you know domino. I don't like a sports cup or any of these cheap uh, like effort like. You know, there's, there's cheap marketing tools that 
call on people for 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 them to reach for it because it looks like a sports cup and you know finally i have i've never done any sports but i can lift a sports cup in my bloody bathroom okay or a gold bar i'm a i'm a poor bastard but i have a gold bar in my bag you know i'm showing off and i'm spraying myself with the gold this is i'm not saying that users of these fragrances are like that but the marketing is the marketing says are you a poor son of a bitch but you can afford a gold bar and spray the juice and uh, you're just great. And it's just the whole thing is so primitive to me. The marketing presentation, again, not the user, the marketing uh, of this is just is just like it's, it's not good. I don't like it at all. I like a clear cut, nicely thought through, nicely designed fragrance bottle with clear shapes easy to handle, easy to take in your hands, easy to spray, um, maybe even masculine like this as well. This is what I like. So spot number three, Paco Rabanne Pour, I'm definitely. Spot number two, haha, <laughs> released in 2002. Look at its brother. Look at these two beauties. I look, just look at them. I love it. I love this juice. I mean, I love the presentation. Look at this. I mean, like, again, Ah, oh, this smells, and the fragrance is called O, right? Water, water. And what better represents water than this clear bottle, again, with the same design, a colorless juice, and a, and a fantastic springtime smell. It's so uplifting, yet it has this edge to it. It's a special blend, definitely a special blend. I love O from Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. basically, this is, a, this is a flanker of this one. Paco Rabanne, Paco Rabanne Pour Homme has a little brother called Paco Rabanne Pour Homme O, the water, but it's not the watered down version, right? This is a fantastic fragrance. It has been discontinued. I have no clue why, no clue. This is obviously still available, but look at these. I mean, this is the type of fragrance that I want to see on my bloody shelf. It's true, it's true. This is what I like, and, and I will always adore Paco Rabanne, what they've done at the time. What they do now, I just, I, I just don't get this gold bar sports cup shit. I, I don't, I don't want that. I, I, mean, I know I'm an old guy, I'm an old, a different generation, but you know, uh, uh, somehow it's degrading the the the, um, the target audience, uh, or maybe I misunderstand the target audience. I just don't get it anymore. Anyway, anyway, I don't want to bash more. Uh, this is what I love. So spot number two, Paco Rabanne Pour Homme O. And spot number one, haha, <laughs> very similar shape, right? Yeah, another flanker. <laughs> Look at these three, I mean, it's just, isn't it, isn't it fantastic looking? Look at this frosted, nicely frosted um, glass box, uh, bottle. This slightly green juice inside. It makes you want to bite in it. It makes you spray it all over. I'm actually gonna do that. Ah, oh, yes, this is a spot number one. And why? Because to me, this is springtime bottled. This is Paco Rabanne sport version called Sport de Paco Rabanne. It's not called, called Pour Homme. They didn't do it at the time. Could be Paco Rabanne Pour Homme Sport, but they called it Sport de Paco Rabanne. It has been released in 1986. Tremendous here, great memories. And if I smell this, this is just pure, utter freshness, springtime freshness, sports fre freshness. Uh, sun is shining, it's not too warm, a nice wind blowing. Um, you maybe are on a lakeside and you, you do some sports with some friends or you just do a barbecue or whatever. This, this fragrance is like mind blowingly beautiful. And and so this is, these three fragrances are the reason why I really, really love or loved Paco Rabanne at the time. And I really think that they have, okay, obviously they make a lot of money with the new releases now because Invictus and, and One Million are very, very popular. Uh, but Paco Rabanne, in my opinion, has lost it, at least has lost me as one of their customers, but maybe they don't give a flying toss about it. Um, I stick to these juices and as long as Paco Gaban keeps producing the green one, the original one, I'm gonna buy it. For the other two, they are both discontinued, still available here and there, 
but this is my top three lineup from the house of Paco Rabanne. Paco Rabanne is obviously a Spanish designer, but it's a really a, a Parisian uh, fashion house at this stage. Although, again, this one at the, box, at the bottom, it has Made in Spain, Puig France, Neuilly, Seine. So it's like a, a French-Spanish co-production, uh, which I don't mind because the quality is, is great. And, um, you know, I keep cherishing these three. These are my top three Paco Rabanne fragrances. And um, try them if you haven't sniffed them yet. That was me, Chris, from Sandland. And I'll be, I'll be back with more. Come, come to me, come to me my little darlings. I right, don't forget you. Mm.